y'all. Jimmy Dukes here. We're here. Good life. Spring kickoff, y'all. Good times. Back in the CH2. This weekend we got a lot of people. There's, I counted like seven, eight freaking Hondas on all on k swap and you know what? L15 turbo. 1.5 turbo, I believe that's the way to go. Little CH2, since this last victorious outing in uh, NCM, received a few upgrades. Follow me. Up front, PhD Alex Speck. Wooden spot plywood, birch wood, splitter from a Home Depot. Routered on the edges, five inches or three inches exact, with some uh, Spade Sport titanium rubbing blocks. We tried to raise the car a little bit to restore some proper geometry into it, but that's as high as it goes. Can't even pass a shoe test. Good. That's a, that's how you roll, California hot boy. Acuity stepped up with some brand new freaking shifters. Yeah. I love it. Uh, much clearer in the gates. Really be able to banging shifts. Speaking of shifts, before this car, with the tune that I had, every time you lift off and you do the shift, it drops out a boost. Nobody likes no boost. So what we did, we told Oz Tuner, turned on a no lift shift. So now the right foot goes to the floor, the left foot kicks it, and we just bang gears. New evasive, EVS tuning, rear wing element, fitting the Civic Type R style. Rear, rear, rear wing mount. Looks bigger, looks better. Will be more down for us to pair with the front splitter. It's gonna be good. All of these upgrades, though small, hopefully will return us a decent amount of gains. I also have two new tires up front, just in case they're sitting on the sideline, just in case if we need to use them. I'm gonna burn these set up, see what I can do, and uh, see if we can knock it into the 39s. I know freaking gears and gasoline bed, who we just had a steer off with. You're gonna be quick gonna be real quick we can't be letting him take all the glory from us and show the case swap is the way no 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 we're the la resistance and uh, we cannot let the case swap lords dominate club tr and ruin this beautiful beautiful world mission is clear cannot lose a bit That session sucked ass. Alex, give me some methanol. Give me some corn juice. This shit's slow. I can't show you my face because I don't have the mustache on. But yeah, no, we pulled like eight miles an hour of top speed. Baby, you can't be like this to me. Well, boys, CH2 was uh, a little under the weather today. It's the nicest way I can put it. I'm trying to hold back. I'm trying to let out a restrained rage rage that short bend over there is uh, five seconds quicker than us right now what can i say uh hot weather and turbos don't go together and the uh, 91 tune especially pulled a crap ton of timing on the straights we're slower than an nabrz i think it's just slightly faster than an nabrz uh yours just, just like only just by like yeah. half a mile an hour yeah. this is 101 my 886 with a 4 age 
20 valve on the back straight did 99 this is 101 we've shoved some e30 in there it better really find some pace tomorrow morning when it's cool because everybody's gonna go 38s when the weather's right and we better catch up very unhappy with that one but uh it's what it is deal with tomorrow uh we're gonna get drastic we're gonna get real drastic second day morning <laughs> crucially important air temp slow gotta hold it down now we are currently eighth out of 18 cars in club tr and it's unacceptable irresistible no that's, that's the wrong word <laughs> eighth is not in jimmy dick's library not in our dictionary this is go time we better give it everything oh we really have to uh there's gonna be traffic a little bit but just gonna have to deal with it uh our boy penguin is gonna be behind me uh we're gonna try and channel some of our uh, scuderia ferrari friends and let's channel some charlotte greg in me from qualifying try and put a lap down get back into where we belong in the 30s Set what? I went full off turn one. The fuck? If the car is just fucking slow, man. I don't know where the fucking time is. 43? I know, I don't know where the fucking time is. Alright, Jimmy. Tell us what happened. Um Well your boy full sent it off turn one. No not a hope in hell that was slowing down. After every single corner, the the steering wheel where it's centered, where I have to keep the steering wheel to keep it centered, is changing. Like every, after almost every single corner, it's just, it's dynamic. It's like a got like a active rear steer that's like not listening to me. Quick check of the car, we finally found the culprit. The control arm on this side. Right here. You see the little right? Right here, basically. Yeah, you see yeah, the I can little, feel it, very the paint nice shipping. curvature there. Yeah. If you look at the other side, it's flat. What did you do, Jeremy? What did you do? Well, you know, oh, no. all we can say is it got Jimmy digged. It got digged. It, it yeah. It got digged pretty hard, so now I have to find a lower control arm. Lower control arm aside, I think something else is fundamentally fucked up. Because otherwise the car shouldn't be 4 seconds a lap slower than Should before. Should we go find Jackie and look at the data then? We might have to. I might have to resort to that useless son of a, you know. Oh well. well. Let's go find Jackie. Yeah. It's like severely bent. Oh my god. Yeah. This might be fucked. Definitely fucked. That might be too far gone, actually. I don't think we can bend that back to that. Not happening, man. I'm looking for a zip tie. 
and there's a zip tie right by me on the ground. Life, yeah. and now you owe me your life. You owe me my park back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, this is gonna be one of my uh, list of excuses if I don't go sub 40 tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna blame Jimmy. Well, jokes aside, Alex. Yes, sir. Without Daniel, we're probably fucked for the weekend. For yeah. Jimmy, anyway. Yeah, for Jimmy, it's be fucked. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel. Well, after all the tire mounting and everything, we found out. Yay! Yay! Crack rotor. Uh, thankfully, it's a S2000 rotor. Fuck. With a Integra caliber. Thank you, Jacob. You're, you're, you're in the dark, but thank, thank you, Jacob. Sorry. Actually, fuck this. <laughs> Alex is like, Alex has had it. But what if we win tomorrow? Well, you better win tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, you. I mean, bet Jimmy better win tomorrow. Final day of grid life. Final day of nice chill temperature. This is turbo weather. This is CH2 weather. If anything, this has got to be it. Everybody around the paddock knows. Everybody knows. Ben knows. I know. Oh, I know. Trust me. I know. We got to pull one out of our ass so deep. It's two and a half seconds deep. It's not going to be easy. Yesterday was a little tricky. Definitely, I think I could have driven better. But at the same time, the car is struggling a little bit with speed. We're figuring things out. We Last night was a really collective team effort. Even though I am the asshole of the team, I'd like to appreciate everybody. I'd like to appreciate Minion 1 Alex behind the camera uh, for uh, fixing the car and you know doing all the work. And Minion 2, Haru, Daniel, for, uh, well, we've dis dismantled his SI just so CH2 can fight again. And Minion 3, uh, where is he? Uh, uh, yeah, Penguin over there uh, for giving us his brake rotors. All sorts of things went on last night with the CH2, but hopefully it all means that this morning we have a fighting chance. Last night we were sitting P6. In, uh, in Club TR, which is truly unacceptable. Syndicus Maximus shall live up to his name. Witness me. Nine, 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 three, five. That's it, baby car. Come on, good boy. Maybe one more push into your clock, but this is we can only do one really lap. Otherwise, the IAT shoots through the roof. I think it was about 120 already. You're so tall, man. Short sure, man ain't so short, huh? Yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> just toe strap on your back, you know. Now that we're close enough, I'm breathing down your neck. Alright. Okay. Okay. Bad luck that session, huh? Yeah, that was bad. Real bad, huh? I got, I got black, black. Oh man, yeah. poor guy. I, I wonder what happened to you. I, wa I wonder what sort of lady luck was on your side. I was on a 39. Oh really? I was on a 39. Oh, I, I wish you would have completed that, that lap because then you would have had data to back it up. <laughs> oh, what could have been, man? Oh man, I feel so bad for you right now. I hate this guy. Oh, you do? 
Yeah, I love you, man. <laughs> I'll see you on track. Okay. Okay. I see you. Watch your back, baby. We did it. Okay. We jumped from P6 in the class to P3. Now, freaking Ben, gears and gasoline Ben, short Ben, who's actually actually a little bit taller than me. He's quicker. Okay. No. A man can accept his shortfalls and it can accept our limits. But it doesn't mean we can't keep trying to break that limit, you know? Now he's quicker this weekend. Alright. Hands down. Good job to him. He's a 41 1 and I know he had a 39. Oh, it feels so bad for him that he got black flat. Oh, boo hoo. We did everything we could to the CH2 last night. New tires at the front. New brake rotors. Some, well, Daniel's freaking, my minions control arm. But this weekend, we're kind of maxed out and limited in what we can do. Track condition is getting hotter and hotter, but man, tried so hard for that one. And maybe, just maybe, it might result in the sweet, sweet glory of being the second loser in third place. You ready? Ready. And now ready. So we've decided to uh, learn our boy Daniel uh, the stage two for the last session. Jimmy Diggs has done his job. This dreaming. Jimmy's way of showing appreciation. Yeah, exactly. For sacrificial. For, yeah, for, 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 for Daniel's sacrifice yes. of his lower control arm, we decided to lend him the car just to go for a lap and you know enjoy a little bit. I think that's nice. It's nice of Jimmy to do that. Even though we hate him, he's a bit of a douchebag. He still is. Still. It's nice. Daniel's gonna have some fun. He's never driven a car while well, should we before. Yeah. We told him like, you know, you know how you always trail break into a lot of corners? He's like, yeah. We're like, don't. Don't do that. Cause you'll die. Well, Jimmy this just bumped up the podium by Evan by like 0.2. So like, yeah. Fuck guy. Impressive. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Evan actually had a had a thing. He got plowed into in his EG by a Camaro that lost brakes right right, here, right yeah. at 10. And uh, for them to rebuild this way and then come back and then compete again, that's really awesome. I like we love we love seeing the spirit. So it's okay. I'm I'm sure Jimmy will be pissed. Do you know something about having the sweetness of victory yanked out of your hands? It was like that. To be fair, Evan did a great job, but it doesn't make me any less pissed, you know? It doesn't make me any less unhappy. It doesn't make my mustache any less sideways. Failure is unacceptable, and unacceptable means we must do better. So we shall. CH2 might go on a little bit more of a upgrade journey. We'll see what happens. It needs to cool a little better. It needs to keep going a little better. Frankly, it just needs to be faster. And I need to, Jimmy Diggs needs to be faster too, okay? P4. We lost by 0 0.2 seconds. 0.2. It's okay. Next time. Next time we'll try to get them back. I don't know when I return again. I don't know when CH2 return. But we'll figure it out. And we'll keep trying. We don't accept failure. But we accept effort to try. We tried. Bye. I will take you.